I'm Paul Huizinga. I've got Superflow's Mike Giles here with me at the 2014 PRI show. And uh, Superflow's got a really long history at this show. Actually, Superflow has been at every PRI show since it uh, started. Well, that's quite a record here, and I know that the uh, the tools that you guys build, the, the dynos and the flow benches and that sort of thing, um, they've always been a very useful tool for the high-end guy, uh, you know, somebody who's got uh, you know a really big program going, doing a lot of work. But I mean, I personally have seen the dynos and the flow benches and that sort of thing come down into you know even more of the intermediate market. A lot of guys are using these as really powerful tools to help do head development, help do engine development. Are you seeing that on your end as well? Yeah, one thing, uh, obviously Superflow was founded in 1972 with the flow bench. That's where the name Superflow came from. Uh, but one thing the company has always kind of prided itself on was the ability to provide high quality equipment that's affordable to the whole gamut of the market, you know, from two, three, four man engine shops all the way up to all the cup shops down in Charlotte. So what do we have to look forward to for the future for Superflow? I know that uh, you, know, you guys are always coming up with new products. You're always uh, you know, innovating on the leading edge of uh, pretty much everything you do. Is there anything on the horizon that we can look forward to? Yeah, I mean, we're always trying to get better, make a better product, uh, keep a strong price point that's uh, good for the whole market. But in the future, um, our, probably our next big thing is some new software for all of our dynamometers. One thing um, we did back in 2004, 2005 was put Windyne, which is the software from Superflow's engine dynos on all of our product lines. So that's on the chassis dynos, that's on our transmission dynos, that's on everything. So the next version of Windyne 4 is coming down the pipeline probably six months or so from now. Um, that'll have give us, that'll really set us up for the future um, to stay on top of the market and keep bringing the latest technology out to all the engine builders and uh, tuners in the world. Now does that software commonality make it easy for somebody to go from uh, one machine to another and, and kind of not have to relearn the whole thing from scratch? Well, yeah, we just talked about shops that have lots of one type of dyno, but we also have a lot of shops that will have engine and chassis dynos and even flow benches. Um, and so it's easy for them. It, it cuts down on some of their training time for their employees because one operator can run all their systems. Um, they don't have to worry about uh, you know multiple software interfaces, multiple control systems, and it just makes their their the easy use of all their systems much simpler. Well, no matter what you're doing, when you're in high performance, Superflow's got something that's going to work for you.